Hi, Paul. This is your first time. Hey, Pat. Are you going to be okay with everyone here? Time Slips is really pretty simple. It's improvisational storytelling. So we're going to write a story today. Are you up for it? Okay. There is no course, set course for the story. It all comes from the participants themselves. To start off, can you tell me what's going on in this picture? They're hugging. They're hugging. It's a radical shift for people with memory loss because our first impulse is to actually go right to memory to try to heal the person. Why do you think they're happy? Because it's their wedding anniversary. <gasps> it's their wedding anniversary. And this is particularly powerful for people whose ability to control language is fraying. So it's giving them back that tool to connect with people again. And he has decided that from now on, the next 50 years, I'm going to be the boss. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. The first moment I realized that something was unique about this method um, it was actually kind of a moment of desperation. I had been trying all these memory-based techniques and they weren't working. And so I just tore a picture of the Marlboro Man out of a magazine and I had a big sketch pad like this. And I said, say anything you want. Let's make up a story. He thinks, he thinks he's underline, he thinks he's gonna be the boss. The, the second I figured out that that worked, that's all I did for the next 12 weeks. I just did the same thing over and over and over again just to see if I could recreate that. And in some ways, I'm doing that 12 years later. And in fact, it works every time, <laughs> I'm here to say. <laughs> Anne is one of those uh, creative visionaries. Sometimes Anne will come to me with an idea and I have absolutely no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> and just have gotten to the point of saying, Fine, okay, because I know it's going to be great. I just know it's going to be great. Sometimes yeah, the it's, memory it's doesn't rough. come yeah. as yeah. easily, right? Yeah. So yeah. you feel comfortable kind of sharing yeah. whatever, whichever way it comes yeah. out. I mean, Anne is absolutely a star in this community, but she's also a star nationally and internationally. You know the magic of this is that there's no planning. No. I think it's her enthusiasm and her ideas and her belief that we should have high expectations of the imagination and the creative spirit of people with dementia. She's always pushing us in a good way to think bigger and to think something that can really revolutionize and reinvent long-term care. It's not up to me. No. It's your story. I think UWM, for me, the most important thing about working there is this feeling that you can make it happen. I have a career of working in the cracks, of in-between things, in-between departments, in-between disciplines, in-between university community. and. That it's a really ripe community for making those kind of things happen, those kind of projects happen, those collaborations. And it's a place that has a need for it, too. So um, there's an enthusiasm for that kind of work and an acceptance for it and, and open doors, frankly. So how are we going to end our story? I think I love what I do because it allows you to tap almost immediately into the essence of humanity. Bernie says, when does my control start? And Julianne says, that's what you think. Sitting in on the story today, there's still moments of magic. Hallelujah, thank you, God.